Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Some Hill Farms said amazingness, I'm sure. You're probably thinking to yourself, Joe, you just reviewed Edward, and you'd be correct about that. We did just review Edward a couple weeks ago. But uh, this is a special iteration of Edward because per the label, it says this is Edward, which is an American pale ale, but it's brewed exclusively with hops selected by Russian River Brewing Company. Are you effing kidding me? <laughs> I am so pumped, so pumped. This beer is absolute fire. I absolutely loved it when I reviewed it. Um, I think it's 5.2%. Um, it doesn't say on the label, but um, this says, uh, Russian River was an early source of inspiration in many ways, my hoppy beers. And this American Pale Ale were influenced by both Vinny um, from Russian River and John from The Alchemist. Um, and it says, Edward's re Edward is a reflection of those architectural first impressions of Simcoe, Chinook, Centennial, and Amarillo. So. Uh, Simcoe, Chinook, and Centennial, those are old school, old school hops. The hops that I fell in love with, grew up with, um, what we used to drink in all of our old West Coast IPAs. Um, Amarillo is also a favorite of mine, so I am pumped, pumped, pumped to try this beer. Um, courtesy of my man Jeff, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. This was canned on November 24th, so 10 days in the can, time of recording. Hashtag fresh to death. Um, Edward's just a rad beer for me because it's Hill Farmstead, but it was really West Coast. And you guys know I love me some West Coast beer. Um, so I'm really excited to check this beer out. Uh, Jeff said when you visit Hill Farmstead, um, Sean Hill's got the Pliny for President uh, banner out. Like, I think they're they're really good friends, these two breweries. So Russian River, one of my favorite breweries of all time. Um, I just, I love Pliny. I love Pliny for President, Blind Pig. I love all those beers. All their sours, everything is just Russian River is awesome. Um, I know the hype's kind of died down with their beers, and that's fine. It's more for us. Um, so I'm, I am, I'm just fucking over the moon, <laughs> stoked to drink this beer. So uh, we are using our Hill Farmstead proper glassware because you guys know beer tastes better in proper glassware, and this beer is absolutely beautiful. It is glowing. It is that straw yellow, finger of fluffy, fluffy bright white head. Um, Hill Farmstead beers all look amazing when you pour them. Like I've never had an issue with anything with canning. I just they're so, so perfect almost in every way. Uh, I've said it the last month or so, getting to review their beers at Jeff Sense. They're my favorite brewery. I think they're the best brewery in the country. Um, I'll die on that hill. I have no problem with that. So let's go ahead and shove our fat nose in this one. See what it's got. Oh, it's, <laughs> it smells so good. It smells like a West Coast beer. It is piney. It's floral. It's lemon lime. There's grapefruit and orange peel in there. Um, it's going to be interesting to look this beer up on Untapped after I drink this because I'm sure people aren't going to like it just because people suck these days and all they want are fucking juicy, hazy beers. They don't want stuff like this. But yeah, pine needles, like they're, it's grassy. Um, there's a little bit of dankness. I always say this with uh, Hill Farmstead beers, they're soft, but you're getting like all of the... Um, like flavors and aromas you can get out of hops without being overwhelmed, without being offensive. Um, so just think of all of the things that I'm saying just in a perfectly like harmonious soft matter. <laughs> it smells ridiculously good. A good like sweet kind of malty backbone to all that, but this just, it's so, oh my gosh, it just smells so like clean and so crisp and my mouth is watering and I'm gonna fucking chug it. Let's taste it. Jeff, cheers. Thanks, bro. I, th I think this is around 5%. And this might be one of my favorite beers I've had all year. I fucking love this beer. Wow. This gives off like blind pig vibes. And that beer is six, what is blind pig? 6.2%, I think. Um, so you can just see like that inspiration that's there. From the front of your tongue all the way to the finish of that, you're getting all the old school um, flavors of beer. It's piney, it's floral, it's grassy, it's dank, a little bit of grapefruit, orange peel, lemon lime, that kind of pithy citrus. Just a super soft, creamy mouthfeel. 
Um, touch of bitterness, middle of your tongue, but it just flies off on the finish of that. Um, finishes with a nice sweetness that just balances out those hops that you're getting. This, I mean, I'm telling you, if there was a perfect pale ale for me, this beer is perfect. This beer is unreal. I, I seriously wish I had, I, I mean, I would take every beer out of my fridge right now and just replace it with this and just crush these all day, every day. This is ridiculous. Fuck. <laughs> it's just, it's the combination of just so flavorful and so old school West Coast and lower alcohol. Like this is what I want all the time. My goodness gracious. Fuck, I love it. There's nothing else to say. This beer is hashtag Hunnitz. <laughs> it's perfect. There is nothing about this beer I would change other than I would place my home in Vermont next to Hill Farmstead so I could buy whatever the limit of this beer was every single day. Seriously, I'd be fucking broke and I don't even care because I would have the Edward with the exclusively hopped <laughs> selection from Russian River. This beer is fucking unbelievably, it's crazy. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So, um, yeah, there's not much else to say. I, I do, I wish I had two, three, four, five hundred cases of this. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a moment with this beer. I'm gonna take my pants off and we're just gonna hang out. I'm gonna sit back on that couch and just drink the rest of this beer. <laughs> Fuck me. Sugad, holy crap. Have you guys had this one? Let's talk about it. Please, someone else talk about this with me. Please join me while well, in a circle jerk for this with this beer. <laughs> this beer is ridiculous. It's so good, so so good. So uh, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. Jeff, love you, bro. Thanks for sending this. Fuck. Oh my gosh. Speechless. We're done. All right, I'm out of here. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all the 